The novel The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger is one of the most appropriate texts for adolescent study as it captures the adolescent voice and way of thinking perfectly, even though it can be argued that the text is too dated to have any relevance to teenagers today. Even to this day, The Catcher in the Rye is a novel that attracts and will continue to attract controversy as it uses strong language that has never been written in a book before its time. Originally published for adults, The Catcher in the Rye has since become popular with adolescent readers for its themes of teenage depression and the transitioning from childhood to adulthood. Although the novel seems to be somewhat dated now due to its use of language and setting, Holden's views are able to surpass this, allowing the relevance of, allowing the relevance of its themes to particularly resonate with the modern audience through the use of motive, motifs and repetition. The statement, Sal the statement Salinger has captured the adolescent voice and way of thinking perfectly is unmistakably true and is evident in the sales of the book. Well over 60 million copies of the book have been published, not just in its first published, when it was first published in 1951, but in recent, in current sales also. It's because of this novel, uh, the novel's themes that Holden appears more realistic as he doesn't sugarcoat and doesn't romanticize issues, which creates a deep relationship between the reader and Holden. Corp, uh, Holden Caulfield is notorious for using the word depressed over 41 times in the novel, opposed to the word happy being used only five times. So I think it's safe to say that, the, that depression is a key theme in the novel. Today we would call Holden clinically depressed, which can be seen portrayed in the quote, I pretend I was one of those deaf mutes. That way I wouldn't have to have any goddamn stupid useless conversations with anybody. They'll think I was just some poor deaf mute bastard and they'll leave me alone. Holden's reasoning for wanting to be a deaf mute stems from his depression and feels he needs to alienate himself from the rest of society. Which much teenagers today are make, just like much teenagers today, making unrealistic solutions of escapism, for example, taking a gap year. Salinger uses the narrative style of motif, motifs and used on the words deaf mute bastard to help the audience visualise and understand more thoroughly Holden's feelings of escapism. <coughs> This alienation and depressive state that Holden is in is relative today to most teenagers as they will feel alone if not depressed. According to the I Need a, I Need a Lighthouse website, which is a depression and suicide education awareness program, 20% will ex experience depression and suicidal thoughts before they've reached adulthood. Most commonly in children and young adolescents, teenagers, uh, depression will start from bullying. Bullying can take place in a number of ways, ranging from cyberbullying, verbal bullying, and obsessive bullying. This is, a, this is the stage that Holden is currently in. Although his depression doesn't stem from bullying, it is caused through grief and loss. The same route was taken from the event itself to loneliness or, or alienation, and now in its final stages of depression. Thus it is important and beneficial for teenagers to study and read of Holden's experiences with loneliness and depression as it will, for some, create a deep, deep sense of understanding and awareness, awareness in the adolescent reader. Holden loves kids, but not in the creepy way. He thinks they're cute little bundles of hilarious and kind-hearted innocence. In, con in contrast, Holden perceives adults as phonies, self-centered, and bastards. So what is he? Is he kind-hearted, kind or is he a phony bastard? In a time when adolescence was barely a concept, Holden would have easily described the word adolescence as learning to be fake. Holden provides evidence of this blurred line between childhood and adulthood in the quote. I was 16 then and I'm 17 now, and sometimes I act like I'm about 13. It's really ironic because I'm six, six foot two and a half and I have grey hair. The one side of my head is full of, full of millions of grey hairs, and yet I still act sometimes like I'm about 12. Here we hear Holden confess he's still a kid. However, he also says he has components of a grown man, like his grey hair and height. It seems like he, he says, I act quite young for my age sometimes, that he's just repeating every adult of what they said before him. The constant repetition reinforces and underlines the fact that he is indeed caught in the limbo that the 1950s don't have a name for. Holden also goes on to say that only half his head is covered in grey hairs, as for that only part of him is still a kid and part of him is an all, is all adult, which furthermore establishes that he is caught in the adolescent period. The process of transitioning from childhood to adulthood portrayed in the novel is the same process that takes place in modern day teenagers today. 
Although Holden might not be into might be intellectually grown up, emotionally he's very immature. According to Dr. Tim Hemlock, who is a leading authority on how to understand the next generation states, there is a paradox that exists among teenagers today. Although there are some exceptions to this, the generation of kids is advanced intellectually but behind emotionally. They are missing many marks of maturity that they should possess. Students today have been exposed to so much, to so much more than previous generations were growing up to. They've consumed information everything from cyberspace to sexual techniques before they've even graduated middle school. Everything is coming at them sooner. Therefore, teenagers today are facing the same dilemma of floating in limbo as Holden, however, under, circum under different circumstances due to the evolution of technology. The catch in the rise, evidently, irrespect to the date of the novel, has captured the teenage voice perfectly as it mimics the transitioning from being a child to an adult. Even though the catch on the rhyme may seem too dated to have any relevance today, it has attracted enormous controversy, originating from its fame and adolescent populace. The novel has proven to be important and beneficial for this audience. Through the themes that particularly resonate with the reader, which are teenage mental illness and the transitioning from child to adulthood, and through the use of motifs and repetition, the audience is able to establish a deep connection with Holden Caulfield. Due to the novel's success, and its complete relevance to modern day adolescents and adolescent audience, it's clear to see that J.D. Salinger has captured the adolescent voice and way of thinking perfectly in a time when adolescence was barely a concept.